All right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Seed Story Cup. Today we have uh, Zixo versus Gara. You know anything about these two players? No, nothing at all. Never seen them before. Never seen them before. Never seen them. They're right. uh, both underdogs. You know? Both underdogs. I, yeah. I highly disagree. Zixo, former Team Archon member, great team. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> Zixo, great player. He's been doing a lot of work on yeah, yeah. online tournaments, winning a lot of stuff. Gara representing Tempo Storm. Zixo representing Navi. Both representing big names, big teams. Sure, bringing yeah. a lot to the table. So we got the classes here. We have Zixo playing Shaman, Druid, and Mage mm -hmm. with his Paladin Band. And then we have... Um, wait, is this Paladin Band or is this Warrior I Band? I have... I'm so confused right now. All right, Zixo's yeah, Paladin yeah. is banned. Okay. For some reason, it says Warrior Ban underneath the classes. Yeah, so <laughs> Confusing. No All right, and then uh, Gara is playing Shaman, Hunter, and Paladins. We have two Shaman players playing against each other. What do you think about that? Pretty rare, pretty rare. Pretty, pretty fun rare. as well. What do you think they play? What kind of Shaman? Uh, Gara's known for mid-range Shaman, and mm -hmm. Zixo's known for Mech Shaman. Yeah. So we may see a face-off of the different types of Shamans coming against each other here. Which would be interesting because like no one else is playing shaman, besides like Ping Ping Ho and BlizzCon. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's been proven that it's okay and it's had good results, but uh, it's gonna be interesting to see if that can continue. Yeah, pretty fun though mm -hmm. to see unusual decks being played. Yeah, definitely really fun. I wonder what they're gonna lead off with. What do you think? Mm, in this case, yeah, I, I guess it's pretty hard, but a druid opening is never bad. Except opening my Druid opening versus you, but... Yeah, it may be a little bit predictable, but Druid doesn't look like it's very good against any of Gara's classes, so a Druid from Zixo. But uh, anyway, we have the actual okay. classes here. We have Gara with the Hunter, and then we have Zixo that does not have Spectator Mode enabled. Yeah, but it looks like a Freeze Mage. Definitely looks like a Freeze Mage for sure. Freeze Mage generally pretty good against Hunter, but the hybrid Hunters can sometimes get an edge, especially when they have things like Lotheb, Savannah High Main, and whatnot. But uh, someone should tell Zixo to turn on spectator mode. Mm, yeah, he's a busy as well, so you can't really reach him. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can only assume he has Acolyte here. Yeah, look at oh, that. Oh, of course. Yeah. A good player always yeah. has the best card. Absolutely, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> I mean, it's easy. We can call his cards all day. Yeah, it's no problem. Yeah, so we see Shredder come out, and then what's Zixo going to play? Uh, Zixo's going to play a... Uh, oh, you mean turn four? Yeah, turn four. Uh, ping, clear. Maybe like a Doomsayer to hold off? All right. I don't know. I don't know. So he's going to trade into the 2-1 ping and play a Doomsayer, obviously. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Look at this. All right, let's see if it actually happens. All right, Zixo is enabled spectator mode, so we can see his cards now. They're a bit messed up, but yeah, just rearranging a bit. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, I can intellect. Ah, that's not a bad play either. Yeah, not quite fine. as good as the Doomsayer setup, but the Doomsayer setup would have been answered. You know, I feel in this matchup, it's always like the hunter gets off to such a great start, and then the freeze mage usually just like barely comes back yeah, in the yeah. end. And it, it feels so good being the Hunter in the beginning, and then all of a sudden they turn the tides on you and it gets scary. Yeah, just a Frost Nova Doomsayer out of nowhere, mm -hmm. or like a bunch of Ice Barriers popping up. Yeah, exactly. Heal bot. Is that a heal bot I see? That is a heal bot. Yep. So mm -hmm. Zixo does have the heals, which is going to be important in this matchup for sure. No Doomsayer yet, though. Double Blizzard yeah. in the hand. No Mad Scientist either, which is pretty important as well, I suppose. Oh, yeah, getting those scientists down, getting those ice barriers, get that extra life. Healing for eight's pretty good against Hunter. <laughs> wow, Lothab coming down on ah. turn five. That's insane. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, that is a card you want to play. And good shredder positioning, might I add. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of damage for next turn. You can't really do much. I mean, you could play the heal bot, of course, turn oh, five. Yeah. Always nice. Yep, yep. That is, like, the best card to have in your hand when they Lothab you on five. Like yeah, just because sure. actually, like normally with freeze mage, you usually have nothing to do. But when you got that heal bot there, you actually have a play. Yeah. And that is important because otherwise you're just floating that five mana, and you feel very silly. I'm right, just pushing him down really fast, down to 15 health again. Yeah. Uh, After right. heal bot being at 15, he can't feel too comfortable. But he does have some freezes that can help him stall out the game. He's got the coin, so maybe he, next turn he can like Blizzard coin Doomsayer, mm -hmm. and really try and slow down the game more. But if we look at Gara's hand, man, he is sitting there with a lot of burn. Yeah, So yeah. if I was a betting man, I think I would have to bet my money on Gara 
But now that I say that, he's probably cursed and going to lose. But <laughs> what it you is, man. It, man. You yeah. <laughs> tempest storm. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Quick shot, kills command, hero power, and a weapon. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, he's definitely going to be trying to empty his hand for that uh, the quick shot to get some value. Yeah. Yeah, Plus you can three. see that by him like wasting a Glaive Zuka charge to get another Glaive Zuka out. Mm -hmm. Misses the 50-50 on the buff, though, unfortunately for him. Zixo probably feeling pretty good about that, though. Yeah, I mean, Zixo drew the Ice Barrier, which is pretty good. But as you said, he's probably going to drop down the... Uh, oh, isn't it a bit risky now to play down the Blizzard together with the... Uh, oh, yeah, especially because the Shredder Baby yeah, sticks around. Exactly. Yeah, yeah and This is kind of like a tough turn, I guess. I guess he has to play the uh, Ice Barrier at this point. This is a turn where you need to evaluate how much risk you want to take and how scared you are of dying. Because y you don't know, your opponent could have like high mains in their hand or something and not burn spells. But by the way Gar has been playing, it's kind of been hinting that those are probably some burn spells. And they've been kind of sitting in the hand for a long time. So I, I guarantee you Zixi is going to make some sort of read on that and he's going to be able to figure this puzzle out. But what is the best defensive line here? Hmm. I mean, if you play the uh, Ice Barrier, you still has the four mana, but what does he use it on? Yeah. Oh, he's actually gonna crossbolt. Crossbolt. Okay. All right. Oh, he is going with the Doomsayer play and a barrier. Okay. Okay. That and the ice line. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. He's gonna try and use the Doomsayer as like a gain seven life sort of thing. I like it. So his effective health right now with the uh, the barrier plus the nine, eight plus nine, seventeen health. It's pretty decent. Yeah, it's not too bad. He's looking a little less scary. He does yeah. proc the freezing trap with the Accolade of Pain, so that's gonna. Kind of prohibit future draws. Oh wait, look at this. Okay. Isn't this lethal? This is lethal, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Leopardome <laughs> top deck's lethal. Wow. That is that's gonna kill him through the uh the ice block because ice block only triggers on your opponent's turn. I mean no, that's ice barrier, I mean. The Doomsayer procs the Leopardome, which kills him. Yeah. Oh, even oh, the, and the uh, knife juggler <laughs> kills him too. <laughs> they didn't even need it. That's more beautiful. Yeah, it, so any minion I guess would have done it since he has the RNG. Yeah. The fifty fifty. Let's see if it lasts. All Just right. Series one down. The Hunter being able to take the game over the Freeze Mage. And we're immediately jumping into Series two here. They took no hesitation on picking what decks they wanted to play. Gara, of course, forced to remain with the Hunter. And Zixo switching to the, looks like, aggressive Druid build, which uh, traditionally does pretty well against the Hunter, I'd say. Yeah, and Zixo likes the uh, aggressive Druid. He, has mm -hmm. some, uh, he had some great success with it in, um, oh, what's it called? Like the Iso Cup, where he won. Um, I think he won like one, one point five k dollars or something, but that was conquest. This is last year's standing, so yeah, I guess it's still pretty strong though. Oh yeah, definitely really strong, especially when you can hit those Darnassus aspirants mm -hmm. and they can stick around. But oh, quick shot off the top, I'm gonna make that not happen. So he's not gonna be able to get that uh, extra value there. Let's see. Okay, shade is. So yeah, he has to settle for shade oh, instead of yeah. double two drop, but. I mean, it's still impressive. He's still filling out the curve very nicely, and he's got double true drop Nectarine into five drop, while Gara, not so impressively using his mana. Unfortunately, yeah. no three drop for him. A bit awkward. Mm -hmm. I, I guess know. dropping like a like a juggler is pretty good versus um, yeah. a druid. They don't really deal with it. I mean, well, you could deal with it with the druid, but sure. Hopefully okay. he's going to take the scientist approach. Maybe he's got more types of secrets in his deck, so he's looking to try and pull like a freezing and a snake or something. Yeah, possibly a snake. Yeah. He definitely has to have extra types of secrets in his deck with this sort of line. But uh, a lot more passive than the knife juggler, a lot more defensive for sure. Yeah, there's like no way he already predicted Sixer to play an aggro druid, right? Yeah, you can't really tell yet. You haven't yeah. seen any of the cards available. But now, as soon as this druid of the saber comes down, he knows for sure yep. that this is aggro druid. And uh, his, he doesn't look very phased by it. So maybe he knew all along. Yeah, maybe predicted it somehow. I don't know. I can't really see his face. It's just a lot of hands. Yeah, a lot of hands. 50% <laughs> <laughs> hands. Yeah, it's like just... 50-50. Just... Okay. A little right, camera so shy. A little camera shy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... The juggle here could be important. Get yep. that aspirant. Oh. Ooh. And what is the trap that we see coming out? We have snake oh, trap. So he does run two snake, or I mean two freezing and a snake most likely. And one is unfortunately in his hand. So, mm -hmm. Hmm. but he will be able to still pull the other freezing off as long as he doesn't top deck it before mm -hmm. the scientist dies. Which but is probably within like a turn or something. Yeah, science doesn't usually live very long. Zixo correctly makes the attack here to play around the possibility of snake trap. So well ordered by him. 
And now he's got to figure out how he wants to use his mana now that he knows that this is a snake trap. And is Lotheb going to come down here? I don't think it does enough. No, I, think I think like Druid of the Claw would be the better play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, well, the thing you got to think about is like Lotheb only has X amount of turns where it does damage. Okay, like yeah, eventually true. they outboard you, especially yeah. with the state as it is currently. So then Lotheb's not going to do any damage. Druid of the Claw is always going to deal four damage. So... And yeah. he wants to, I guess, play around Unleash the Hounds with the amount of board pressure he's assembling there. He's got an army on the field. He does. And it gives him, like, the uh, the tempo he needs to sure. keep pushing for damage. And damage is what you want when you're playing aggro druid. You really just want to exactly. do anything you can to get them into that 14 health range where you can start fighting that Force of Nature Savage Roar and killing him. Mm -hmm. And at this point, maybe even only a uh, Savage Roar is enough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Almost, at least. So now it's going to be interesting to see how mm. defensive Gara tries to play here. Can he even play that defensive? I mean, from my perspective, I think he's got to be playing like Arjun Horse Rider. Yeah, Horse Rider, you can use that defensively and like still maintain it on the board. Yeah, that exactly. Should be fine. As long as your opponent doesn't find a swipe, which you probably assume at this point he doesn't have. Yeah. Because of the uh, ample opportunities to actually use the card. Uh, those are not good juggles for him. They've been hitting stealth targets yeah. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> twice in a row now. Yeah, he hit the face and a stealth target. Did not accomplish much. Oh, he's he's going to fire it. that juggler because he's not doing anything useful. Yep. <laughs> Throwing the knives all the wrong order. <laughs> and uh, he holds wrong back place. the scientist trade there, though, which kind of makes me think he maybe he doesn't have another freezing trap. Maybe he's running one snake, one freezing. Okay, yeah, that's possible, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, a fell river. Yeah. Fell Reaver. Fell Reavers are big. You're going to want a Freezing Trap that. Yeah. That is a lot of damage. That is more than 50% of his health. Oh, it is. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> a lot. <laughs> you can't even make uh, use of the Freezing Trap now if you uh, just clear the Lothab and the 3-1. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Which you kind of have to do at this point. Yeah. Fell Reaver is scary. I mean, I guess you could gamble it. and He's only got one card left. You can just hope that they can't kill you in time and try and set up your own lethal. Okay, yeah, that's true. I mean, you do have two Leopard Gnomes. That's like four guaranteed damages yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. So you'd Freezing Trap the Lotheb then and kill off the 3-1 and just just hope Leopard Gnomes can do their job. You're getting six this turn. Guaranteed four more on top of that six is ten. And then the Hero Power is another guaranteed two. So, uh, let's burn some cards. That's 12. So you just need five damage somehow. So hopefully some of your minions stick around, I guess, is what you're thinking. Yeah. He already burned one Savage Roar. He won't be able to use it next turn anyways, but... Mm -hmm. So My setting time. up for lethal. My thanks to you. Oh, the swipe okay. off yeah. the top. Oh, he doesn't, oh, he doesn't do it. Oh, he, he, does he have lethal? Yeah, he has lethal. Oh, yeah, does he, he does. He has traps this. Tip. Yeah, of course, of course. Oh, my gosh. These casters are terrible. Yeah. <laughs> they should fire them. Yeah. Just like the knife juggler. They got fired earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will suffer his fate. Yeah, exactly. Wow. A very okay. clutch lethal pulled out there by Zixo. Using the Druid of the Claw to absorb the freezing trap, push through that 14 damage, and steal the game away. So that means... That's Zixo, a two all right? Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, gotta keep track. Yeah, Bad with memory and stuff. All mm -hmm. right. So uh, Zixo still is gonna be. Wait, no. It's one one. It's one one, right? It's one one. Yeah, oh, yeah, what it are you is. trying to do? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to trick you, man. Yeah. So I do, I'm a little, little trickster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, I'm gonna race one of these, but no. All right. So I guess. Uh, so the hunter's out from Gara, and yeah. the the, the uh, mage is out from Zixo. Oh, look at this! Did you see that? Did you see what the card shaman. he threw away? What did he throw away? He threw away a Kassan. Oh, Ooh. the anti-freeze mage. Oh, he already beat the freeze mage. Though. Oh, he did, yeah. It yeah. doesn't really do much now. Uh, well, it makes his deck worse. It does make his deck worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it's just bad. <laughs> now he does not want to draw it. So maybe that's what it, maybe his shaman is like a tech thing to just beat freeze mage. And that's why. Yeah, possibly. There's a lot of freeze mage in this tournament, so that's pretty smart. Yeah. Totem golem going down. Going to overload him, but it's fine because he's planning on playing Haunted Creeper anyway. Mm-hmm. And, uh, pretty okay curve so far. Yeah, Agro Druid can get out a five drop right now, or uh, just save up for the boom. <laughs> save up the for boom. <laughs> yeah, he's close, right? He's got yeah, he's but innovating coins. Like just yeah, turn yeah. five. But I, I mean, the Aspirant is gonna die right away. Yeah, Aspirant's never gonna make it. Hmm. 
I mean, is it so bad to just like you know your opponent can't play power mace this turn mm -hmm. to just innervate coin drew to the claw and charge and trade? So I actually like it. Like yeah, it's either that or uh, like or what taunt, do they even yeah. do? I guess they play haunted creeper, which kind of contests it next turn. But yeah, but yeah, you can't really do anything next turn. But you can play Nasprint, and it's probably gonna be safe. So. Mm -hmm. Zixo taking a passive approach, holding out for that boom. It looks like. Mm -hmm. He just drew a living roots. Is that a living roots? I see. Yeah. The roots. Yeah. Doesn't really uh, do too much, but. Um, he can kill that three one. That's for sure. And now the. Oh, he does uh, not want to hear power right. He wants the aspirant out. Yeah, definitely. He wants to get that aspirant out there, mm -hmm. and he's hoping it'll stick around. But power mace is uh, gonna answer that quite effectively. Zombie chow off the top to fill out the curve. Really nice. Yeah, that is exactly what he wanted to see there. For sure. There's not too many times you top deck a zombie chow in the middle of the game and you're happy yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you want to turn one. Mm -hmm. Or never. Or never, exactly. Or when you power mace an aspirin and hang one mana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are about the sum of the good, yeah. <laughs> All right. I think we covered most of it. Yeah. No mech to go with the power mace. Maybe he's just running it just because it's a weapon and it's pretty good. Yeah. I was wondering about the mechs, but yeah, it's a mm -hmm. pretty decent weapon, right? Yeah. Yeah, Zixo's got some mechs. He's got the Dr. Boom out there with the Boombots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, zombie Chow okay. lives just barely. The MVP. Oh, he's going to go face now and use the Power Mace so it can heal up with the Healing Totem, hopefully. Or is he going to hold on to the Power Mace? Hold on oh, to the Power Mace. I like it. I like yeah, it. Yeah, he wants to use the Fire Elemental mm -hmm. next turn. so It's like a little combo good. play because now you can use the Fire Elemental and the Power Mace to deal damage to the same target, dealing mm -hmm. six damage to one unit. A lot of damage. And the low fib is going to be pretty... It's just going to be a body, not really affecting any spells, but good nonetheless. Yeah, it definitely helps push a lot of damage. Defender of Argus, that could mm. be really useful because we see Zixo has such an aggressive stance playing, you know, aggro druid. It's yeah, kind of yeah. in the title. And uh, Defender of Argus can really put a stop to that with those taunts. Okay, so he's... Okay. All right. Bye-bye healing totem. Yeah, rip totem. Looks like he's going to go with the Argus instead of the Fire Elemental Clear yeah. sort of play. He feels very afraid of the amount of damage 6 -0 can deal. Understandably. Yeah. He so just got hit in the face for 7. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a double Savage Roar next turn. Yeah. That Doctor did not do too much healing to him. Yeah. Is he a licensed Doctor? Do you know? It, he can't be. He's got to be a, just like a fake Doctor that performs torture. Oh, That's yeah. That's probably the whole point. All right, pushing face, going to hold on to the power mace still. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is... How much damage can Zixo even push oh. through here? Not much. No, not really much. He can, uh, got the Great Wall of Totems and stuff. Yeah, I can't really get through the taunts at all. Mm -hmm. But he can set up for uh, next turn, possibly. Yeah, for sure. Just definitely knock down that taunt totem, knock down that zombie chow. Mm -hmm. Probably just play Darnassus and Shade. I kind of like holding on to the Druid of the Claw because turn 8 you have Charge, Druid yeah. of the Claw, plus the Roar for just some sneaky burst damage. A little surprise. Yeah. No, he is going to go with the Druid of the Claw, though. Okay. Protecting the Lothab. Sure, I makes suppose. a lot of sense. Yeah. I like that as well. Hmm. But he does have the Fire Elemental, yeah. so... You definitely can't crackle this turn because you don't no. want to overload yourself for Alakir, the Wind Lord. Because uh, that is your out here to finally start trying to take back this board. So I'd really like to see this Fire Elemental come down and the swing on the 4-6. Uh, this works too. Now, you're, now you've are now you just popped the Creeper is the only difference and you save one life. Mm -hmm. Oh no, he's going to oh, hold. Oh, okay, he's going to hold to it. Okay. All right. That weapon has not been used in quite a while now. Yeah, it is very interesting. He's really holding out for that mech, I guess. We're going to yeah, see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There, there is a mech somewhere, there, man. He's <laughs> waiting for that mech. It is going to yeah, come. Yeah. He's like, I know there's a mech in here. I put it in the deck. We're going to find it. I'm That's not using my do. weapon until I see that mech. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Juggler damages. Ooh, nice snipe. And this is a pretty good setup. Cells. Didn't get the double snipe, though. Oh. Damage going face. Lightning Storm, okay, that is a powerful card good. here. Guess Alec here won't be played after all. Yeah, definitely no Alec here. This is a Totem Lightning Storm. Spell power? Oh. oh. Taunt's still pretty good, Yeah, though. that's pretty that good, yeah. yeah. You can't be unhappy about that. And uh, what are the rolls here? Uh, oh, that is good enough. Yeah, it's good enough. 
You can use Crackle to finish off this boom most of the time. Mm -hmm. He's going to roll a three, though, so. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Five. He's Can't predict anything today. Oh, my gosh. Shaman is back in it, and he's got the Taunt Totem that saves him from the potential combo top deck oh, from Zixo. Yeah, that's right. This this could be Shaman's game. Yeah. But he's overloaded too much to be able to play yeah, Alakir yeah. next turn. So that's going to be a huge deal if Zixo is able to kind of like find the, the full combo and uh, set up a potential lethal. I guess he should swing with weapon now, and uh, yeah. Yep, I guess yep. he kind of has to. Swipe. Mm. Not too bad. It gets all those 1-1s. One that's going to clean up a lot. Yeah, and then he can actually... Okay, mm -hmm. just get rid of the totem. Yeah, get rid of the taunt totem. Mm -hmm. Set his opponent down to 9. If you swipe, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Swiping the face. And uh, he's really just looking for that potential force of nature top deck to close out the game. Did he play 2 Druid of the Claws already? Uh, he definitely played one. In yeah, one mode. he played, but yeah. what about two? I don't think two yet. Okay, that flame tongue is pretty nice for Alakir. Mm -hmm. oh, the taunt totem oh comes out God. again. Does that save him from combo? No, that doesn't save him no, from combo. No, it doesn't, no. Okay. So combo would still be lethal. Zixo is not able to find the combo piece that he needs. Shaman, and maybe not as yeah. so bad of a class after all. Shaman making a comeback. Mm -hmm. That is, that is going to be lethal. For sure. Yeah. And he's going to show off the Alakir. Yeah, he could have chose to hide that, actually. Yeah, I know. That is interesting. And, and okay. then, like, his opponent wouldn't know. Now I'm typing down the right numbers. Sweet. So okay. it's two to one in uh, in Six. favor of Zixo. And he's got to no, remain no, with his... No, no, no. For Gara, right? I just fucked up again. Did you really? I did. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm so bad with this, man. I'm so right, It's a shaman mirror. I don't. Yeah, it's a shaman mirror though. So okay. I Gara did cross one the right with shaman. Ezixo was aggro druid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So two one for Gara. Two one for Gara. I should not be typing anymore. You, you, <laughs> you, you should have the paper and pen. I'm not gonna touch it anymore. Gara, best shaman, trying to represent the shaman class. And uh, we see here he's got Doomhammer and Iron Beak. All two cards we didn't see from the last match. And uh, Zixo with fairly standard shaman cards. Both look like playing a mid-range shaman, so we get to see a mid-range shaman mirror. Yeah. I didn't think I would ever see this match heaven ever. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, especially here. Like, <laughs> yeah. Or now. I mean, sometimes I see this at like rank twenty on ladder, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but when you want to hang out, like, in, sure. in rank twenty. Well, like when I play up. shaman, that's where I go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. When I play shaman, I hang out in rank twenty. <laughs> but these guys know their stuff, and they're they're showing us how shaman's done. And a totem golem turn two. Pretty standard for a shaman. They both have totem golem turn mm -hmm. two. This is how you do it. But he's going to go opt with Haunted Creeper instead to try and set up that uh, that power mace yep. to go along with the uh, the trade there, really take care of that totem golem. Okay, so not really much for Which him to do this turn, but... It's a pretty heads-up play because he would have got punished really hard if he played his own totem golem because then Zixo would respond with the flame tongue totem trade okay, up into yeah, it. That's true. Yeah, so this way, Gar is actually one step ahead, actually. But he knows, man. He's the shaman player. The shaman player, yeah. Developing your death rattles first is usually correct in all forms of like tempo decks, including mm -hmm. like zoo, hunter, and even shaman. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're gonna see coin shredder, I guess, to contest. And pick up the little totem. Yeah. Get some good value out of that haunted creeper there. And then Zixo is going to respond with his own shredder. So there's the mech for the the power maze, yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's two mechs in the deck probably. Yeah, two shredders. And maybe a doctor boom, you know, some boom bots or something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's a there's a few mechs. Power maze going to come out to try and set up to buff the piloted shredder. And doomsayer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh. It's actually uh, not so good for Zixo as it gets cleaned up quite efficiently without putting too much damage on the yeah. piloted shredder. All right. Zixo could potentially clear the board with a Lightning Storm Haunted Creeper, but Lightning Storm is like the best card in the mirror match for Shaman, right? So it's yeah. definitely a big expense to use it here to try and gain back tempo. So he does go for it, though. Okay, that's uh, that's not too bad. Yeah. And now Gar is going to be right back on the board, though, with with this uh, basically mechanical high main. Mechanical high main. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Aww. 
That Six five. That is a big shredder. Yeah. He can shred a lot of trees and people and things. And things, yeah. Yeah. Mostly people and spiders. Spider it definitely shredded that spider. Yeah. Okay. Gar's got the fire elemental coming down. The fire elemental is the O3, and then that must mean he's going to face. Yep. Boom. Wow, pushing the damage already. Zuxo has a fire elemental to respond with mm -hmm. that he can use to trade down his opponent's fire elemental, but that just doesn't feel very good because then the fire elemental is directly contested by the shredder. It's a lot of damage. Yeah. From Gara's side. He's looking pretty good for Gara right now. Yeah, he's like definitely ahead on board, and he's been just kind of like leveraging that every turn and snowballing a little bit. Yeah. And Zixo's already down a lightning storm, which is pretty important. Yeah, while Gaira still has his. Mm -hmm. Oh. He can push a pretty nice board here. Yeah, not too bad. He can play a lot of totems this turn. Yeah. I like the triple totem play. Yeah, I like it as well. Yeah. The tied golem golem. Yeah, and then it's just really nice. you trade into the 6 5 just to mm -hmm. be extra safe. Yeah. And uh, he try and coast out with this card advantage off the mana tide. Alakir won't do much now. Can't really do Ooh, anything. Oh, the yeah. face. Ah. Very aggressive. That Argus is really nice if the minions stick around now. Mm -hmm. Which I probably will. Yeah, Zixo doesn't have too many options to clear that effectively. He has a hex it's as a removal and, and, and a doom hammer. hammer yeah. Kind of works. Yeah, I mean, he can hex the uh, fire elemental and then doom hammer it down and then kill... One of the three fours with his fire elemental, or just go face actually. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that works. Because going face seems like you're threatening so much, especially with that doom hammer up. Like, mm -hmm. Gara is definitely going to be scared. If you have a rock biter in your hand, that's ten damage. And shaman's just known for lots of bursts. But it looks like Alakir's coming out. Okay, that must mean. Yeah, that must be a little face play. Yeah, it's trying okay. to use Alakir as a defensive taunt, but also using its attacks offensively to try and set up for a lethal situation in the following turn with maybe Doomhammer plus Crackle or mm -hmm. Doomhammer plus Rockbiter off the top. If he runs one Crackle, that's three possible outs out of 19 cards. Not too bad odds. Yeah, not too bad at all. To win the game instantly. But uh, Argus has something to say about that, potentially. You gotta be scared as Gar here, because you just got allocated in the dome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you must think your opponent has something. Like yeah, you, is, you're like, definitely mm -hmm. a little afraid yeah, yeah. of what is to come. And you're the best shaman, so. Yeah. Your shaman senses are tingling. It's a mirror match as well. He yeah. knows his opponent. Yeah. He's gonna be able to use Flame Tank Totem here to clear mm -hmm. completely. Oh, no, he's good. Well, the Argus doesn't do a good job keeping this. Yeah, I guess he's just safe. He's already seen one lightning storm, and he says, ah, screw it, he's not going to have the other lightning yeah. storm. What are the chances? And if he has to face burn, so be it. Yeah, then exactly. Then it's still nothing you could have done. Mm -hmm. My shield for Argus. He's got some big taunts now, and uh, he's looking for a potential Doomhammer top deck for lethal out of hand, or just his board sticking around to deal enough damage with that rock fighter. Draws another hex. Froggies, froggies. Okay, <laughs> it's looking pretty grim now. Yeah, both players just inches away from killing each other. They're really at each other's throats here. Yeah. I don't really see a good way for Sixo to deal with this board. Yeah. It for it to do enough. Um, yeah, I, I think he's dead. Yeah, I think he's dead, yeah. He needs to Azur Drake into Lightning Storm to stay alive. And he rec recognizes it. He's going for it. And oh. he hits the ruby and okay. egg. So now he's going to go with the hex and he's just going to hope. But, uh, but we know. We know. <laughs> we can see that. Oh, and he hits oh. the doom hammer anyway. He's going to do it. Icing on the cake. He's going to do the rock fighter. He yep. reveals the doom hammer though. All right. Yeah, that is uh, that is a 3-1 series for Gara taking it, proving that he is the best shaman. Ping Ping yep. Ho has got someone to look out for. So, um, impressive. Well done. The players shake hands. Good sportsmanship all around. Really enjoy seeing Shaman. Yeah, it was actually really fun. It's fun yeah, definitely. seeing something you never see. Yeah, exactly. Ever. <laughs> ever. Never, ever. Is this a new expansion? Like yeah. New Hero? Well, there was a new expansion. Oh, there was, yeah. Didn't help Shaman, course. though. But no, not at not all. Not yet. Didn't help many classes at all, actually. Maybe some. Uh, 
I guess. Very, you're very, Not the first very disappointing with this. I'm trying to hype up the expansion. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Adventurers. <laughs> but that's a uh, congrats to Gara taking out Zixo Zixo, a very accomplished player. Gara is well accomplished player. Both playing unique classes, unique decks. Mm -hmm. It's going to be interesting to see how far they go. Who do we have coming up for the next match? Hmm. All right. So next we have Gara versus Soleil, and that's going to be the winner's match for Group C. The winner of that is going to advance out of the group. Moving on to the next group phase in two days, right? Yeah, in two days. In yeah. two days. Tomorrow yeah. is the four other groups. Last so group, yeah. that'll be interesting. Zelay, Archon member. Yeah, you're rooting he's for my him, teammate. Of course, Definitely yeah. rooting for my teammate. Hoping mm -hmm. he does well against Gara. All right. Okay. So now, anyway, we're going to cut to a short break so that uh, the players can get ready and everything can happen. So stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Hearthstone action. Don't go anywhere. Gara is going to be back with his shaman, and it's going to be epic. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> 